Just landed in Vegas. Didn't record anything earlier today. It was 4.30 in the morning. So now we're here, we landed. Uh, we're getting our bags and we're gonna start heading over to the hotel. Uh, set up the booth and get the day going. But Viva Las Vegas, woo! <laughs> we just landed. It's like 8.30 in the morning right now in Vegas. I did not record anything earlier today because I woke up at 4.30. And our flight was at seven, so we were just in a mad dash to uh, get to Vegas. But excited, we're gonna pick up our bags, go straight to the convention, set up the booth, and then go to our hotel room. <laughs> we're ready. The most important one's not here. The big one. The poop. We got one more bag, and it's the biggest one, and I don't know where it is. It has all the booth stuff, so it's getting tense right now. You got it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice job, KK. Booth is here, all the bags are here. Pro tip, fly Southwest so you get all your free bags and then you can pretty much pack up your whole booth into suitcases and check it in on the flight. So, good move. Got everything. It's nine something in the morning. We're gonna go. Pat, uh, not, I was gonna say we're gonna go pick a spot and go set up, but the spot's already been picked. SL four four two three five is our booth, and that's what we're gonna go set up right now and start the buyer preview. Hopefully, we're done in by two or three today. Hopefully, hopefully, so we can uh, take some rest and then get prepared for the opening day, which is Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Me and Kate are gonna be at that booth twenty four seven. So, it'll be a good time. Woo! Made it to South Hall. Booth is here, crew is here. People are still flying in, but we're the first three amigos that are gonna come in and set up, but we made it. Okay, what you got? What you got? How you feeling about the booth setup? Got the got the pain in the ass light. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but it looks good, man. In the sky. Oh, Starving Marvin. My dental doctor is a friend. Camille, give me one. The hardest thing you had to do today, when it comes to the booth. Uh, I was gonna say wake up at four thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, the booth was pretty easy. Um, we took our, we didn't rush it, uh, and yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it's not bad. Oh, uh, the hardest part was, I guess these lights, because we couldn't figure out where to put them. Hey, they look pretty good. But they look nice and tough. Natalia, toughest thing about setting up the group, uh, the booth? Uh, making these shower curtains pass those cute curtains. All right, <laughs> nobody else should know that. We did it steal some shower curtains off our pallets okay well we have we, we have over 10,000 curtains in our warehouse right now okay so then we're packing for this and we're like all right we're not gonna go spend forty dollars on a tablecloth because that's just not the way nice fine wholesale does things so we're just gonna bring the shower curtains but they look so bad that now we have to uber to walmart to go get some but we're gonna go to walmart anyway so natalia don't fray please on to coming soon. Booth is coming along, coming along. We're only an hour and a half in and we're almost done. We need to go to Walmart now to grab some supplies because we brought duct tape, we brought zip ties, we brought extension cords, we brought clear tape, we brought scissors. But you know what we didn't bring? Quality table cloths. These are pieces of crap that make our booth look horrible. So we're gonna have to go to Walmart. We're gonna st stack up on some snacks, water, 
uh, tablecloths, and then anything else we seem that will make this next week be even smoother. Nice ride. <laughs> yes. God bless. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting early head start today it's just because first day and we need to, uh, yeah, we want to get there. It's the first time we're doing a show, so we don't know what to expect. It's early. It's early, but we're ready. Yeah. Uh, Wake up the hall. Get up, people. and shouldn't have been partying all night. There's business to be done. It's Sunday. Leave them alone. <laughs> it's Sunday. That's not it. See, we're responsible. We didn't even go out last night. Saturday in Vegas, and we stayed in. Well, we went out, but we just went to get food. We were tanking. But I was asleep by 11, so yeah, that doesn't count as going out in our book. We usually, when we go out, you come back the day after in the morning when the sun is up, you know? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll guys see you at the show. <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. We need coffee. We need coffee. Take me to Starbucks. Take me to Starbucks. There. It's a white girl anthem. <laughs> they did. I was like... Coffee got, got a double espresso, got a double espresso, we're ready to rock. We're gonna take the Tesla loop into the convention center, probably the smoothest and best way to get around, honestly. Highly recommend staying at the Westgate or Resorts World if you are doing the convention because it just makes transport super easy and you're in and out and it's cheaper, so do that. <laughs> All right, Camille, goals for today with the booth. First time exhibiting, what is the one, number one thing you want to do and get done? Today, it's the busiest day for sure. There's going to be the most attendees on the first day. I think between like 10 and 2 o'clock. Um, but yeah, just talking to people, getting cards, and building relationships today. And then the next couple, then like tomorrow, probably the same thing. And then we start doing a little more content stuff. We'll get some people lined up later on. But today, for sure, talk to as many people as well to me. Woo! The famous Tesla loop. Alright, so this is just getting more and more convenient by the day. I mean, this South Hall station right here for the Tesla loop is, I want to say our booth is literally like through this entrance right here. So it shouldn't be good. And I'm pretty sure, if you guys have seen our March video, we were eating tacos in the back here. Um, I'm like 90% too, but it's, they changed it up. They changed it up. They keep changing this thing up. No matter how many times you're in Vegas, it's a little bit different every time. But we're in. It's Pratt Shake. There's a bit of Say hello, ASD team. <laughs> Morning. You guys excited? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Did you catch people saying she's in that shirt? Grab the cart, grab the cart, grab the cart. All right. Now look. Hey, we're exhibitors. I think we can do whatever we want. Need a stick to that? Yeah, I'm like pretty sure we're like right there. There. Here's the short part. The food court, we're very close to the food court, which is clutch. I think a lot of people are gonna be coming here to eat. A lot of people are gonna come here to hang out during the day to take a break. And we're gonna be right next to it. So yeah, they're gonna have to pass by us. I don't see in a bit. I think the attendees get in at nine, from what I'm understanding. Oh, this is the golf cart. So you can take that golf cart to the, to the other hall. But I got all these neat little Tonka trucks driving around. All right, Mackenzie, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, booth looks good. Booth looks really good. Oh, Mr. Kylo turning the lights on. Oh, yeah. And don't forget the subscribe button. Hell yeah. Looking good, team. What you got there? It's a kickoff party at live tonight. I've never been to so. the kickoff party. We've been to the closing ceremonies. We've been to the closing ceremonies, not the kickoff party. We'll see where the night takes me today. No, I no. Mind. It ain't gonna take you anywhere. We're going to sleep. We're in bed by 10. <laughs> he said we'll see where it takes you. It ain't taking you anywhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see after the meetup tonight. <laughs> no, we will not. We're saying no now. So we're just with that thought for the rest of the day. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell people no. They do ask me during this show. 
but I'll tell him I might be put, I might change my mind. <laughs> Announcements were just made. Show is live and open, and we're swamped. Oh! Just kidding. We will be swamped. The doors just opened. There was an announcement, so we're ready to see some customers. Come see us, SL44235. Hopefully, this booth number stays with us for the rest of our lives, I guess, so we can just keep promoting SL44235 for as long as ASD Market Week is a thing. Nice Fine Wholesale is kicking it off. Lights are on. We're ready for business, baby. Just pop up with some laptops and hey, start. Pop up with some laptops and start writing invoices, ladies and gentlemen. It's <laughs> where to sell. On the way go. Yeah, but all right. I mean, honestly, pretty slow. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was. I still don't know what time the show officially starts. Every person you ask and every website you look at <laughs> tells you something different. Exhibitors, attendees, all of that. You know, I think we were supposed to. We were allowed to get in at 8 a.m. Right. And then the attendees are getting in at 9 a.m. So it should be a pretty busy morning. So, but we wanted to get here early, get set up, get everything kind of figured out. Natalia's out running uh, errands for us for uh, to get some um, uh, supplies for the booth that we're missing, and then AK like water and coffee and candy. <laughs> and then um, yeah, we're just gonna set up here and get the day rolling. All right, we got a friend here from India. What made you come to ASD? Is it our videos? Yes, it's the YouTube video. <laughs> nice, man. Where are you from? What do you do? And how'd you find us? Uh, I am from India, uh, and uh, my sister company is here with. Uh, What's SMO? the name of the company? You gotta give a shout SMO. out. SMO. Okay. What do you guys do? And, uh, they are in uh, mobile uh, cases and many other uh, journal mer merchandise. Awesome. So what are you, are you looking to buy or are you looking to sell? Yes, we are looking for a seller as well as we uh, are looking for a buyer, both. Perfect, man. All right, all right. Hold on. The weirdest thing I ever found on a pallet probably was prescription drugs. Like heavy doses of them. Yeah, not good, not good. <laughs> Had to get it dropped off at the local police station, for Did sure. Kept them? No, <laughs> no, we donated them to the police exactly station. They took care of them. They took care of them. It wasn't any like crazy amounts, but it was definitely enough to go to prison for. So we called the police and we got rid of it. There you go. What was yours? The craziest thing we at training had found in a pallet, there were a lot of uh, a break in a jar. Okay. Yes, we did you win. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of our weirdest programs that we ever had. Um, but yes, and then we also have find like illegal stuff, so we're like, call yep. the police. Yeah, nope. a lot of illegal stuff comes to those. Come on, boy, hey, you never know, you make money out of it. Listen, I'm just kidding, <laughs> breaking bad this way. So, <laughs> Perfect. All right. Second one, uh -huh. so we are both from different states, right? None of us are on the same state. Best thing about Illinois, best thing about health care. Ooh. Okay, so Nice Fight Wholesale is located in Illinois, and the best thing about Illinois is the fact that we're in the middle of the country, so it makes our location super easy to ship from and ship to, So, because we're centrally located, so you can file the, you know, the railroad networks and the highways all connect somewhere along the lines of Chicago. Okay, for us, we're located, Via Trading is located in California, so I will say the food. We have tons and tons of food, different from different parts of the world, Mexican food, Italian food, Lebanese food, so I think the food on the top. I would like to change my answer to food as well. Because <laughs> we got people from all over the world. We got Mexican, we got Chinese. <laughs> okay, well, next one. Other than ASD, how did you guys meet each other? Like, how can liquidators meet each other? How can liquidators meet each other? Mm. Um, I think social media, <laughs> like, we're both very, like Via Trading is very ho uh, hot on social media. We're very hot on social media. Social media is how we met. Uh, it's how I met all your crew, the whole crew. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just being active on social media. Obviously attending these networking type of events and shows is number one, I would say. But you can definitely do a lot more damage at these shows if you have social media. Because now look, we've known each other because of social media. And now we're hanging out at this trade show and making a more stronger and better connection. So my answer is social media, being active on there and networking without being there to network in person. See, what was your first step so they used to start your business? What did it mean? Like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I don't care the culture I'm making. Yeah. 
Okay, so what? So what? When I once I realized that I had to ask him permission for my own time to do anything, is when I realized I need to start my own business because it was it was uncomfortable to me to have to go and infect people to get me some days off so I could go visit family abroad or go hang out with my family for Christmas, whatever it might be. It's just like, yeah, once I realized that your big time and your freedom is worth a lot more than the money, uh, maybe a for job to give you, is when I got motivated to start my own business. And that's when you get up and like, oh, I was wrong on that. <laughs> it's okay, on to the next, forget about it. It's like the video, like, sitting in the morning, I'm like, why did I do that? But it's like, all right, on to the next time. <laughs> what do you do to trust? What, I, what do you do to recharge after those little moments, after like the long days at work, looking at the palace, all the signs, makes money around the warehouse? Let me know. Uh, I'll probably, I play a lot of soccer. Ooh, which is it. Messy right here. Just, uh, <laughs> 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 which is it? Which doesn't help, like, because I get like, uh, I, I, get too, I get too, too into it, and then I get even more into it. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's about it. There you go. Okay, guys, so I got Demi and I got Mackenzie right behind you guys. So say hi. hi. Now it comes to the real thing, though, because we just talk about being entrepreneur, business, but what about your wife? God. Like the wife, yeah. wife? Me? Oh, but stop. Oh, stop. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I can't get away. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, what is your name? Natalia. Okay. My wife. <laughs> Okay, Natalia, tell me what has been one of the hardest things as a wife and as someone who has a business. How can you, what would you describe this? I mean, it's definitely a challenge to try to be a good thing. We're trying to you know, navigate all the ideas, all the all the different dates. It's going to be big ups and doubts for sure. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just want to be the best supporter I can be. Um, and that also is the only thing that like this. Uh, but I'm seriously glad that tricks for fun washing, digging, grow, doing fun, and like spine to grow. Like, I've been so, so far <laughs> in all these years, and just watching all that unfold, it just tells you that it's really fun. It's hard to get rid of myself and tell us. Okay, what would you say? What is this? Like, how long have you been married? Honestly, we just got married last <laughs> summer, so not even a year. Yeah, newly what? What would you say is the moment that you're like, you know what? This man is really doing. The fireworks, and like, I'm glad that I'm married there. What was the right. moment in that? Exactly, what was the moment in your like in the business wise? We're gonna be like kind of good night, yeah, <laughs> like it's chatty. Honestly, honestly, so when he first started Nice Fine, that it was like right around COVID time, and a lot of things were changed. I was still in grad school, we were just like taking help the, the leap of faith, and he was like, I'm gonna try it out. And how it's been navigating us because we do get caught up in it. You know, weeks weeks go by, days go by, and they're super busy. Some worse weeks than others, and you just need some time to kind of recharge. And I think our biggest thing is we like to just kind of unplug, get all the technology out of the way. We like to go outside or try to do with big box outside, or uh, do workout together. But mostly just trying to be outside and getting that fresh air and just talking. We're saying not always trying to talk meals together, have meals together, and just having that alone time, rather than like being stuck on either or, you know, work, you have tough school, it's all that stuff. Palettes. Palettes. <laughs> yeah, palettes, all of that. So trying to just have some downtime with none of that, none of that in our conversation. Just like... Day two. Wow, you're so handsome. Day two. We got, we're getting the camera ready, B-roll. More social media today than yesterday. Day one was great. Yeah, day one we just talked a bunch, so a lot of people got a lot of emails. Um, and yeah, just saw uh, second day uh, doing the booth. People are we're not as nervous anymore, so it's good. But look, Damien, Damien's recording. I'm recording. Nice. And then don't forget to subscribe, right, Arthur? Oh, uh, you're officially on the YouTube. <laughs> What's up, Cody? Where's your store? Cody, Wyoming. There you go. How's um how's business? I guess I I'm not ready for questions. <laughs> I'm not business? ready for answers. How's that, man? We're just getting started. What's the talking. name of your store? Where you look? 307 Liquidations, Cody, Wyoming. There you go. So I call you Cody. <laughs> You're the only person now, I know is, in Wyoming. Business is great. We're a discount store specializing in overstock and uh, general merchandise. Awesome. Where can people find you? 2631 Sheridan Avenue. We're on Facebook at. 307 Liquidations LLC. There we go. You heard of here, people. Check out Wyoming. If you're in Wyoming, check out the liquidation <laughs> store. All right, we're off. We're going to go vlog because we're at ASD and I haven't recorded anything. 
Or shout out to the merchandise liquidators. What are you guys? Liquidators? Yep. Yes. Well, we're doing a tour. We're doing a tour. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. We got a bunch of cool stuff here. Textiles. Some commerce here. Oh, I see something cool. The post office. USA. USA. Kitchenware. These are like commercial kitchen stuff. What else we got? What else we got? That looks cool. Thick flat bedding. More bedding. So I'm giving you guys a small tour of what's around our booth, okay? So I haven't really walked around yet, to be honest. First day was just strictly all standing at the booth and talking with our customers. But today we got a little better plan. We're gonna break it up so that me. Uh, Kamil and then Mackenzie can shoot some content and do some cool things. But I want to go find Via Trading. Cause they were do oh, they're over there. The toys. Shout out to Max Power. Looking good, looking good. Nice looking speakers. And cosmetics. Oh, no, no, no. Perfect. <laughs> that was like, nice. That's what you were trying to do yesterday to me. Hello. Shout out to Via Trading. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you wanted to put me on the spot. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How was day one? No, day two. No, how was day one? Oh, how was it? What's good? It was pretty good. We got to meet a lot of people. What else did we do? Got to meet you more. Nice, nice. We hung out. Shot some content. There you go. What else did we do? How does it feel, huh? When someone just shoves a camera in your face. I you my guy. If you see one right here, then went up and down, then yeah. It's not. To be fair, I went to your booth. It's normal. You were there. <laughs> how was the how was the meetup? Did you guys enjoy it? Oh, enjoy it. Meet some good people. Yeah, the sister skin. Nice, nice. Really the taste of them. And then you get to know other people in the industry too. Different ages so. and different yeah. nationalities. True, yeah. true. It was, was, it was very was foreign in there yesterday. Yeah, it's it's a lot of international people. What do you do? What like? What do you feel? How do you feel about this? So far, so good. Yeah, yeah. no complaints. Yeah, definitely, definitely, for sure. I got. I mean, I got back to the hotel like eleven. You know, like. Did you? All right. All right, Mr. David Vasquez for ViaTrading.com. What are you selling? What do you got for sale? Why should people hit you up? Yes, hi guys. So we have Via Trading, so we have customer returns, new overstocks. We have Walmart programs, Target programs there. Nice, so, nice. Sam's, Amazon. So if you guys are looking for any general merchandise, clothes, toys, furniture, whatever you need, ViaTrading.com is the state. Got you covered. Hell yeah. Nice. Good pitch. Good pitch. Good pitch. That'll get some sales going. That'll get some sales going. <laughs> I can see. All right. And then Emma, oh, I'm still get back to work, hair, please. I did. No more makeup I sessions. What do you mean? Uh, this has to be the camera. Where should, uh, where should people the... see ViaTrading.com and where should uh, they go follow? Okay. They should follow us on Instagram. If you guys are not following us, via Trading, And then YouTube, TikTok. What else? Facebook. Um, what else do we have? LinkedIn as well. So if you guys want to follow us, it's be like, information down below yes yeah, he's gonna put it down <laughs> below subscribe get like uh but first you gotta hit nice fine wholesale <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. all right you train on yeah. wow so i can flick you off now i'm on jail and it's gonna be everywhere <laughs> man, you gotta be flicking people off man what's, what's up on, we're doing a via trading.com <laughs> shout out this is the boss man right here look no, at it hit him up hit him up on linkedin guys this guy moves loads on LinkedIn. <laughs> oh my god Talk to this or guy. facebook we already did Via trading, everyone. That was cool. We're gonna keep walking. See what else we got. Wally Lister with my good friend Steven Roney over here. He's gonna give you guys a quick pitch on what Wally Lister is and how to make more money in your stores, more e commerce operations by selling on Walmart. Wally Lister. So, what we do is we help all those stressed out and just all you Amazon sellers have been just totally hosed with all the fees. <laughs> and you're feeling unstable waking up in the middle of the night because you don't know if you're gonna get your payout come sell on walmart.com with wally lister and we'll take out tons of hassle you'll list 400 percent more and 15 percent more margin just check us out at wallylister.com nice thing that was a good pitch man did you practice that yeah <laughs> nice nice so what does wally lister do so we create wfs listings it's like fba but for walmart and makes it really simple. So you just drop it in a box, ship it off to Walmart, and then once somebody buys it, you don't have to ship it out of your own warehouse, they ship it for you. Okay, so what is an advantage of using Wally Lister versus doing it yourself? 
Uh, try it yourself and you'll think I'm not going to do this on the user interface of walmart.com. You know, they're a little ancient, antiquated, but if you use Wally Lister, it's super fast. Awesome, awesome. Does Wally Lister do cross-platform uh, cross listing? Wally Lister is only for walmart.com, primarily just for WFS listings. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? How do they get in contact with you? How do you get more information? Yeah, go to wallylister.com. It's uh, super economical, but it's really just the only way to sell on walmart.com. Beautiful. Thank you. So, man, you one more thing like, to add. One like, more thing to add. Go. One more thing to add. <laughs> buy your inventory, nice buy and wholesale, and then with all that inventory, if you're not sending it to your store, just scan it into wallylister.com, wallylister, and then sell the rest of it, make a better margin, and keep buying more at nice buy and wholesale. Nice, I like it. And then uh, one question that just came up. So does now wallylister tell you if this item's gonna be good for walmart.com or a hot, right? Yeah, right. stay tuned on that. More features to be released, but right now just primarily making it really simple to list on Walmart. Awesome. It's cost. Good. Cut. And then I can put in, hey, let's just say, I just want to know what my payout is. I'm going to get $14.05 from Walmart with a buy box of 19 bucks. I can, I can list a hundred. I don't even have to label this side. It's in the man, it's in the shipment right now. I just have to create the shipment, and that's as easy as it is to list on Molly the So I saw all these. Hey, this is Charlie and Kimball from Better Island, North Roseville. We're here just looking for good merchandise to bring to you up in our auction house in Roseville, California. Each week we put new items up, about 1,000, 1,200 items weeks. So come check us out. We'd love to sell you something. Nice. Great. Right. Check them out, guys. Thank you. Can you tell me how your experience has been versus being an attack and I come to you? I'm not a Sure. Sure. Um, you know, Walking the show and exhibiting at the show, completely two different ball games. Uh, it's been a very fun and great learning experience. Um, but I think the biggest difference is that as a buyer, you're doing a lot more uh, attacking, and as a, an exhibitor, you're doing you're playing a lot more defense, right? We you have to just kind of be set up and ready to answer any sort of questions that anybody comes up and asks us versus maybe having a list of questions that you're gonna be asking every booth, right? Like to look for deals or you're comparing, but we have to be ready to answer, you know, thousands of people's questions that have thousands of different types of questions, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's the biggest difference. Friendly. Nice. Hey. Okay, tell us who you are and how excited you are for ASD this week. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mahalit. Um, I'm over the moon excited for ASD. I work on the ASD market marketing team. Um, so this is everything that we work towards to have this wonderful event for all of our vendors, all of our attendees, such as Guys Find Wholesale, which is both now a first time yes. exhibitor. So. so how many new exhibitors do you guys have this week? Off the top of my head, I would say a couple hundred. Every show we get brand new exhibitors in different categories. Uh, since we cover so many, and uh, but definitely grows every show. So I don't have an exact number off the top of my head. Okay, okay. So what's your favorite advice to give to any new attendees and new exhibitors? Um, my favorite, well, my advice for this show specifically is to download the app, um, our brand new event app that we just got this show cycled. It's incredibly helpful. You can look up products, you can look up vendors, you can make like math, um, and have guided wayfinding from one booth to another between, um, uh, lounges and activation. So that's incredibly helpful for new attendees and new exhibitors. And also, um, I would say start planning or yeah. So like, I think you need to, as an attendee, map out who you want to see, and then obviously as you walk around, you add more to your list. And as an exhibitor, I think I need to really um, focus on how you want to present your brand at the show or your company at the show. And you know, first impressions matter. So I think that is a really big selling point for for that. Okay. I like it. I like it. And I think also as an exhibitor, I've noticed that instead of mapping out where we're going to go and who we're going to see, it's more like trying to set up invitations for, hey, yeah. you're going to be at the show. Come see us. Let's hang out. Make yeah. sure to check out our booth yeah. with like current customers, right? Just to make sure that we do see them because there's so many other booths that they can Yeah, that you want to send out your meeting requests at a time. You want to make sure that you are using all the federal most of these that we may buy. But ASD, hosting up your show special, hosting up the pictures that you may have, um, and then using up sponsorships as well. I think 
finding how what works for your brand and your company to make you more inviting and publicize and and make sure that like, hey, I'm gonna be at the show. Everybody knows they also come on. See, for next, that's great advice. <laughs> I, I have nothing to more to add or ask. <laughs> Anything else you wanna just give a quick shout out to? Um, you know, shout out to my circle. So yes, oh, as <laughs> always, SL four four two three five. Hopefully, this booth number stays for the future because yes. it, this marketing, you know, it would be just kind of pointless. Um, uh, but no, yeah, shout out to you guys. You're great and like wonderful um, attendees and wonderful. Thanks. Come today is the Marky Week show, guys. Yes, come. <laughs> Hello, Stephanie. Hi. What did you got your flag? Wave your flag. I got the flag. I don't know if it's working, but. Nice. Right, Any work? Any work with the Whoa. <laughs> don't be afraid to ask questions. Everyone's been there, right? At one point in their life. Yeah. I don't know. Right, come by. Fail, let's talk. Right? Yeah. Don't be afraid of failing. It's going to happen. Okay, my name is Vinzel, and I'm from PalletMoney.com, aka Derek Pickett in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we do wholesale. We have a 5,000 square foot warehouse. We try to we sell everything but cocaine. I know. <laughs> I'm excited about ASD because I like meeting new nice people. All right. All right, my name is Emmanuel Moses. I'm with Gotta Believe out of Decatur, Georgia. And I love the ASD show as well because I like to meet new people and network. And people like you, and you guys rock. And much success. <laughs> hey, my name is Derek Pickett, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, with PalletMoney.com. Man, one of the only things I wanted to do when I came up here was come see my boys at Nice Fives. Cause you get here, you always get some good and it's gonna always clear your mind. My boys over here are so great, you can always relate. They always have a deal and the main thing is they always keep it real, man. Nice fine, that's why I came here. I didn't came for no toys, I didn't came for no candy. I come to get a nice fine. And I thank y'all for coming out one more time. Hey, let's go out here and come over and see your boys at Nice Fines. Hey, mama, we made it. They did it. <laughs> All right, Ricardo and Juan, they told us that they came to ASD because they found out because of our YouTube channels. Give a shout out. Say, say your business hey. and what you guys do. Uh, so we are uh, RJ Parfum LLC. If you look us up, uh, RicardoParfum.sup. I want to thank our friends Nice Fine also because of their videos is that we came to this place recommended uh follow his uh youtube videos and uh yeah we recommend you this bike i really appreciate that guys thank you appreciate it thank you art yeah who's just busy looking good i hope so i don't die here but we're causing a ruckus look at this a li liquidation meetup by the nice fine wholesale group Woo